Hey Car Pack, this is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Sports Card Consultant Show. First of all, you better get my rookie card. It's going to blow up. Second, thanks for supporting the show and being awesome. Enjoy. Hey, what's up? What's up, Card Pack? Today we're going to go over the top 10 most selling basketball cards over the last week. So these are the 10 cards that had the most sales over the last week. And that's really important to know because that makes it the most liquid card in the market, the one people are demanding the most. Now, whether it went up or down, that's a different story, but it's the one people are buying and selling the most, and that really does matter. I uh, want to remind you I'm doing this NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. The only thing you need to do to enter is go over to, there's a link in the description, go over to the podcast because hooray, hooray, we're going to put these audios on podcasts now. Uh, and so click the link in the description and leave a review for the podcast. And then come back here on uh, YouTube and leave a comment. Let me know you left a review. That's all you got to do to enter. I'm going to pick a winner on uh, March 8th. And I'll be doing that live here on the channel. I want to remind you also, I have a sports card society where almost every day I send an exclusive video outlining a sports card investment opportunity that I think is really good. I dove deep into the research every day, and I almost every day. And I find some really, really good ones. And uh, for instance, here's a PSA 9 1990 Skybox Michael Jordan. We were getting it for around 35 bucks. Today it's selling for 100, almost 120 bucks. About a month later, uh, back here early January, we we're getting this chipper around actually like 70 bucks, maybe even less than that. And today it's selling for about 180 bucks. Uh, Skybox Rookie Z Force Kobe PSA 9. Back here early January, we're getting it for around 160 bucks. Today it's going for about 550 bucks. Um, and last, this 2008, this, this is the best one, 2008 PSA 9 Tops LeBron. We're getting it for just over 100 bucks in early January. Today it's going for 1500 bucks. So that's a really good one. They're all really good, but this one's like a total home run. Oh, there goes my phone. But anyway, so uh, I'm going to be raising the price on the Society 2 pretty soon. So uh, right now it's only $9.99 a month or $99 a year. You can lock in if you um, become a member now because I'm going to be raising the price by the end of the month. You also get access to my resources, and I share my resources with you. One of them is it allows you to get 25-day grading for just $25. Um, now, if you go on the PSA website, you'll see that they do 25-day for $50. And I also hook you up with 5-day. Uh, grading for just $75. PSA website here, 15 day for 75. So pretty good resource there. And then our discord is just straight money. Awesome people in their excellent community. Um, so join the society. That's what I got for you. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and smash that like button. Let's dive in card pack. All right, here we are. We're in the market movers tool. Uh, we, I went into, um, sales volume by card basketball PSA 10. So this Luka Doncic, 2018 Prism Base, uh, that sold 134 sales this week, a total of down about 7%. Let's chart it real quick. Let's see what it looks like on the old chart. Should be plenty of data with it being the top selling card of the week. And it looks like it started the week at 1379 and it's gone down to, to 1299 a pop count of 15,980. Very popular player, very in-demand card, very in-demand player, very in-demand card. Pretty good supply there. If you're newer to this, pop count means the number in existence. So this card, the Luka Doncic 2018 Prism, in the grade PSA 10, there is about 16,000 in existence, and it will soon go over that, I am sure. Probably over 20,000, no doubt about it. So a lot of supply, really. But a lot of demand for this guy. So where's the ratio balance out? It tends to be taken down. The Mavericks aren't doing so good. Let's look at it on eBay and see what's up for sale. Because there's no denying Luca is, well, Luca's Luca. Like he is a phenomenal talent. He made it to the playoffs last year, but boy, I don't, whew, I don't know if they're making it to the playoffs this year. Um, doesn't look like he's going to be in the, in the MVP race either, currently. So. This is interesting. Um, this card, I because you know I've been trying to do this buy sell hold on all my videos too. I've been getting pretty good feedback about that, but it's still up in the air. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think about me doing buy sell hold on each of these cards that I look at each day. Uh, this card, it's it's hard. 
because for some reason, like, I, I don't want to sell it. But I don't know how much lower this thing can go. Really, because it's Luca. And sure, it's got a high pop count, but I don't know how much lower it can go. I feel like, I feel like this is, I don't know. I don't know if I'm buying it. I don't know if I'm buying it. If I got to think about it that hard, I don't know if I'm buying it. But I don't know if I'm selling it either. Especially depending where he got in at. But again, it's Luca. God, how often does he go down? I don't know. But again, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. So I don't know what's going to happen with this card. If, he, if I thought he was going to make the playoffs, I'd totally be a buy. Absolutely. So if you think he's going to be a buy or make the playoffs, um, then, then go ahead and buy him. Um, let's look at the, the West standings. Pull those up. Where are the Mavs? Yeah, right. Come on, Google. You can show me the top five. You know I need to see at least eight. Oh. No, they show me the East here. Go to the West. I guess they're in the running. I guess they're in the running. I guess they're in the running. You know what? You know what? I'm going to be a buy. I'm going to be a buy. This card's just too cheap now for him to be that close to making the playoffs. I am a buy for that. So I'll put a link to this one in the description for you. Next, we have the John Morant 2019 Prism Base, PSA 10, of course. 129 sales on the week, down 5.5%. Let's chart it. Looks like the average sale is about 451, but let's look closely at it. Let's wait for the chart to pull up here. Started the week at 485, ended the week at 451. Pop count of 13,636. Let's pull this one back 30 days. Thirty days ago, this card was seven hundred and eleven dollars, and now it's down to four fifty one. That is just going down, down, down. Where are the Grizz? They're number nine. They can make the playoffs too. Them and the Mavs. Hmm. Tough decisions today. Cause I like Jaw. I really do. Goodness. It looks, looking at the chart, you know, you can see it kind of, kind of flattening out. You know, 485, 450, that's a little bit of an extra dip there. 45 down to, was that 460? Goodness. Buy, sell, or hold. I feel like, I feel like I'm not selling this one either. So it's either a hold or a buy from me for this. So I'll put it up. On eBay for the eBay link here because you know it pulls up this nice refined search, so I'll leave that up. This is optic. Um, goodness, by the way, if you're liking this market movers tool, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Use code society for 20% off your first month or your first year. Um, this is the most important thing I use in sports card investing, no doubt about it. I mean, for real, this makes me the most money, saves me the most time, saves me from making the most mistakes. It, it, it is my compass to finding sports card opportunities because there's so much data in here, right? And you're not going to know how to use it day one because there's so much to do. I suggest when you when you get it, just dive in and start doing stuff. I start this one, look at this tab here, start looking at these and playing around, look here and play around, look here and play around. And then here you can add in your collection, which is fun because it can just track it. But I really suggest going into these ones, these two right here, and going into these four, particularly these two, and then because the sales volume will be on them too. But if I got to pick two, I say use these two and use these two right away. These variations are fun and stuff, but those are the ones you can really start with. I think they're the best place to start if you're new to market movers. Number three, LeBron James 2019 Prism Base. I keep poo-pooing on this card every week. And it seems, I think it's been on here like two or three straight weeks. Now, 127 sales of it. It's only up 7%. I can tell you right now, God, let's chart it. I, 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 I don't want to say I'm a buy on this. I, I got caught in this trap last year. Got so caught up in the hype. Let's pull it back 30 days, though. Let's look what it's done in 30 days. Pop count of 7,118. 30 days ago, it was 97 bucks. So it's overall up 105. God, LeBron, looks like the floor is 100 on this card. Are you going to keep going up? God, you're so good. Ugh. 
It's hard to say. Is that a buy? Ugh. Buy, sell, or hold that. Hmm. Let's think about it. My, I don't feel like I want to buy it. I just don't. I just don't. 7,100. It's not crazy, though. God. God damn it. At that price, I'm going to say buy it. Damn it. Didn't think I'd say that, but I'd say buy it because it is LeBron and everything LeBron's going up, and I expect that to go on till basically the end of time. Um, and this is him in his, in his Lakers prism rookie. Not rookie rookie, but this is his first prism in his Lakers jersey, so, you know, Lakers rookie. Oh, God damn it, LeBron, you got me again. Oh, I paid way more than this, by the way, last year. Mm. I only bought Roz, though. I didn't buy any tents because so I was going to get him great. Actually, some of them are in for grading. I sent him in ridiculously on 45 day. Oh, long time ago, <laughs> and I'm still waiting to get him back. Yeah, oh, shit, I'm going to be a buy on that one. Gosh, I didn't think I'd say that. But I think it's going to keep going up through the season. And we expect them to go all the way to the final. So I expect that card to really just kind of keep going up until in the playoffs. So, yeah, bye. Zion 2019 Prism Base. 121 sales up 1.7% on the week. So this is Zion's rookie. Ticking up just a little bit. But, you know, it's a. does that mean it's going up, going up? Not necessarily. Just because it went up a little bit overall. I mean, start of the week at 6.06, end of the week at 6.32, had a low sale of 5.71 with a high sale of 6.32. That was the one that just happened. Pop count of 15,542, I will say. Zion has looked really good. He has looked really good, and um, I, I just never really bought much of him because of the hype. The hype is just too damn high. You you need to win, win the finals in your rookie year to match that hype. So I think his hype and his reality has come to a balance, and I think that this is where it's at. So let's look at this card over the last 30 days. I think that'll really give us a good indicator because I'm, I'm, I'm about to just straight up stand by on it. Here it was 30 days ago. 666 is what it was. And then it went up to 700, so that was the high, and it's been ticking down. And it looks like it kind of leveled off here at about 590, 600. And there was a dip of 571, and here we are around higher sixes. I can say right now, even though the pop count's high at 600, you're kind of making me buy it, you know? Um, damn. 630, 649 are best offer. I'll leave a link in the description of this one. I'd be a buy on that one. Next, another Zion 2019 Optic Base. 104 sales on the week. 18.8%. This is also a, a Zion rookie, obviously, because there's only been one optic that's came out since he's been in the league. This one might be a little more interesting to me because it's 18.8% up on the week. And a top seller, it's going to have a lower pop count than the Prism by at least half. I don't remember what it is exactly. Let's look. 5,078. Started the week at 212. Went up to 295. Interesting. Yeah, I can say right now I'm probably well let's 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 pull this one back 30 days and see what it looks like. So 30 days ago, it was 230. And then it dipped down to 190 in the middle of all this. Now it's back up to well 295, so now it's up to a high. Interesting. Will the Pelicans make the playoffs? Where are they at? Oh, shit, I'm in the East. My bad. Pelicans. Could they make the playoffs? I mean, they could, but it looks like a longer shot for them than the Mavericks and Grizz. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I can say if you ever wanted to get a Zion, now kind of seems to be the time. Well, there's one, wait, what is that? That last sale, wait a minute. That last sale was 295 I see one here for sale for 264 and then 299 or best offer. Yeah, I'll probably be a buy on this one because it's just if we pull this thing back like 180 days, check out where the all-time high is. The all-time high is $360, and that was right when the season started. 
goodness. I mean, at, at three, I, I wouldn't want to get it at three hundred, but I think if you can get it for two sixty four ninety nine, like this listing here, I think it's a buy, especially with that pop count only being five thousand. I dig it. Another Zion as our next one, or his twenty nineteen Mosaic, eighty seven sales up eight point nine percent on the week. Let's chart it. <laughs> load, load, load. Started the week at 146, ended the week at 165. So Zion seems to be ticking up. Pop count of 5,214. Let's look at it on eBay. Zion seems to be ticking up, even though I don't know if he's, I don't really think he's going to make the 175. Wait, what was the last sale? 165. Okay, that's in line. 175, 175. Is that you know, anything got best offer? Hmm. 159 or best offer? All right, I'll leave this one up too. I'll put that link to this one in the description because at that price, grant at what we're looking at here, even if we go over 30 days, it looks like that's a pretty fair price. Actually. It's hard to tell. Actually, you know what? Nope. I'm gonna take that down. I don't I don't want to buy that one. Looking a little closer at this chart, you see how it's like how it has its moments of going up and down over the 30 days. I think we're at one of those ups. And I think if we want to buy it, I think we want to buy it for more like 140 or less. Wait, what was that one that was up here? That I saw that was interesting price wise. What was it? 159 or best offer. All right, I'll, I'll leave this one up. If you can get this one for 140 or less, so this person might do that, um, then I would buy it. So I'll leave it up just for stuff like that. But at 160, I'm not buying. 140 or less, I'd buy it. Donovan Mitchell, 2017 Prism. Now, this is a guy that I think has just been underrated. He's on the Jazz, number one team in the West above the Lakers. Number one team in basketball. And he's the top player on the team. He has been criminally undervalued, I think. So that his 2017 Prism, 81 sales on the week, up 15.5%. That does not surprise me. I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to be a buy, but i got to consult the charts. Started the week at 445, ended the week at 524. Pop count of 3803. Let's pull this one back 30 days. Criminally undervalued. 350, 350. So he's starting to tick up. Not even just tick up. He's really went up in the past two weeks. He's went from 350 to 524. I think people are really starting to get hyped on him. Um, what... I thought I was going to be an automatic buy on this one. Damn, I would have been an automatic buy back here because I thought I was been, I've been preaching I was criminally undervalued. Oh, buy, sell, hold. I think I would definitely hold. I wouldn't be selling because I think it's going to go up. And I'd say buy at your own risk because I think the Jazz are obviously doing great and Donovan Mitchell is doing great. And I expect them to plow right into the playoffs. And that's going to make all this just kind of keep going up. So I expect this card to keep going up. I expect it to go... If they keep on the pace they're at, I mean, I could see this as a, it wouldn't, well, while in the playoffs, it wouldn't shock me to see this as a $1,000 card. It's a prism. It's a prism PSA 10. And the pop count is only 3803. He he can really solidify himself as like a superstar in the league right now. And 524 for a superstar is ridiculous. With a pop count of 3,803, 3, that's ridiculous. Let's go to eBay. Let's check it out. What do we got? What do we got? Is that right? 400? Let's see what we got for some buy it now. It's 550 your best offer. What did we say that last one sold for? 
Let me consult the chart. 524. If you can get, I think it, this is what I'm getting at, is what I'm realizing here. I think if you can get Donovan Mitchell for under 500 bucks, it's a buy. But I don't want to buy at 550. I think under 500, he's a buy. So I'll leave him up, put him in the description on that caveat. But at that price, I'm holding. But if you can buy it under 500, I think that's a good deal. Kobe White, 2019 Prism, 79 sales on the week, down a total of 18.9%. Buy, sell, or hold this one. Let's uh, let's wait for the chart to pull up and get an idea on that. 108 to start the week, 91 to end the week. Pop count of 55.68. High sale on the week, though, of 116. Let's pull him back 30 days. I think this is one that I'm just not buying under any circumstances. I mean, with that being said, anyone with... Yeah, look at that. It's just... Yeah. I'm uh, if I don't have this, I'm not buying this card. Um, I may be selling this card before it goes down even more, if you can get someone to buy it. So I'm not in on that one at all. There will be no link in the description for that card. R.J. Barrett, 2019 Prism, 76 sales on the week, down 7.4 percent. Let's pull up and consult the old charts. Oh. By the way, I want to open a, a Top Shot pack for you guys. Um, Top Shot's going crazy right now, by the way. NBA Top Shot. Holy God, I have made a lot of money this week. Um, it's been wild, actually. If you're not familiar with NBA Top Shot, go check it out, nbatopshot.com. I'm not going to put a link in the description probably for it. But, oh, man. Um, and I still think it's early. I still think it's really early. Really, really early. Even though it's blowing up. It's just that... I got in it back in like October, although I just kind of forgot about it until a month or so ago. And then I got back in and got some really good stuff. And I've made, like this week I bought a Jimmy Butler and a Russell Westbrook, both for about 500-ish bucks. They're worth about total like over 3000 now, total. So I've like tripled my money in four days. Crazy. I'm not saying that pace is going to continue. I don't know. But everything at the moment still seems to be going up. That's for sure. But I'll open a pack here. So I've been wanting to open these packs. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that at the end of the video. RJ Barrett, 158 bucks, Down to 121. And then 126 to end the week. Wow, you are pop count of 5,120. Let's pull it back 30 days. See how this one's been moving. My guess is a lot of down. Yeah, not buying. Not buying if I have it. I may be selling it just to get it off my hands and put that money somewhere else. Depends where you got in at. Your call. I mean, I don't I don't hate RJ Barrett. I think he's a fine player. Um, you know, where, where are the Knicks right now in the East? Are they actually competitive? I forget. I feel like they could actually make Hmm. You know, if they do make the playoffs, I, I don't know if I'd buy him right now. But watch out. If he goes over under a hundred bucks, God, that's a PSA ten for under a hundred bucks. If he goes under a hundred bucks and the Knicks look like they can make the playoffs I'd be a buyer then because as we approach the playoffs these cards will go up the more certain a team is to make the playoffs the more desire there will be for the players on those teams as cards and RJ Barrett would certainly be probably the top guy wanted Julius Randle maybe probably Julius Randle but then RJ Barrett would be the top guy on the Knicks for sure but right now I'm not buying you know right now I might not be selling either no actually I would sell I would sell and watch it because it's going to go down more and buy it again if you want later, if they're going to make the playoffs. Next one, Trey Young. I think he's the end of the list. Trey Young, yep, to number 10. 2018 Prism, so that is his rookie card. 68 sales on the week, up 14%. Let's chart it. Where are the Hawks in the East right now? They're number 11. They could make the playoffs. They're only a couple games back or so. So they could. Wow, the Hornets are currently there, huh? Okay, I guess so. So those last few spots seem to be a bit of a wild card. Trey started the week at 462. Now he's up to 530. Pop count at 8534. No doubt in my mind that card will end up going over 10,000 at some point in pop count. 
So 30 days ago, this card was 572, went all the way down to 443. And now it seems to have found new life. I think people were just sleeping on Trey. Trey's had a great year. I mean, he's put up a 40 point game the other day. Trey's a really good player. And uh, like we knew that going into the season, but then we like forget about it. It's just we're very fickle in the sports card market. Buy, sell, hold this card. I wouldn't be selling it. Where are they in the standings? I mean, long term wise, 8,500. Let's pull this one back. That, well, the high this card, this card got to, how high did it get 90? Let's pull it back 60 days. Because we'll see it's all time high then. I think it got well over 700. All time high of 823. So it's fallen all the way down here to five. Well, all the way down to 443, but now it's ticked back up to 530. Buy, sell, hold this card. I'd probably hold it. I wouldn't sell it. And no, I just don't think right now is the time to buy it. I just don't. So I'll leave the link in the description to the uh, cards I thought were worth taking a look at at certain prices. Just, uh, you know, buy, buy at your own discretion. Let's go to NBA Top Shot. NBA Top Shot. Packs. We don't need to go to packs for it, but wait for it to load. There's an insane amount of people in the marketplace right now because they announced today that the Series 2 moments, this may not mean anything to you, but the Series 2 moments, um, the Series 2 moments got locked. Because with moments, they have this thing called CC and LE. CC means continuing count, meaning that the the, the, the number can go up. Like if there's 10,000 of them now, if they decide to release more, they can. They leave that at their discretion. But they let you know with the CC. So these cards, all the ones in Series 2, most of them, were 15,000, 12,000, 7,500, or 4,000. But the 4,000, 7,500 were already LE, which means limited edition. They will not print anymore. Uh, mint actually is what it's called mint anymore but the ones at 12,000 and 15,000 they officially announced today tonight that they are locking those down they're now limited edition they're not making any more of them so all of a sudden the value of them just went up because now we know what their final count's going to be i was thinking they were going to go up i thought they'd go up to like 50,000 but they locked them in so now their value's up and people are just buying like crazy tonight plus they've been buying like crazy all week so let's go to my uh Here's some of my moments. This is the only one I have up for sale. And the only reason I have this up for sale is because um, opportunity, frankly. Where is community? Let's go to the active challenges. One thing that's pretty fun is you, if you complete these challenges, you'll get this. Like if I get nine of certain hollow moments that look like this, they have this little symbol and stuff. They're limited edition. If I get them all and I have them in my account by the time this, when this timer runs out, uh, I'll get this for free as my reward. Same thing here. But uh, with this Cool Cats, you, there's 10 different moments you need to have when this timer runs out. And you need these Cool Cats, but you need this one too. This is a common moment. And so I bought it. And I'm just going to sell it because I'm not going to complete this challenge. I don't want to spend the money to get it. Um, I just don't. Uh, by the way, these ones like out of 12,000, they were always going to be Ellie, but the ones that are out of 12,000, that means this is their first top shot moment. Um, and this will end up getting a special badge for their top shot debut. It'll get a badge and that will add value to it. And just like with rookie, uh, rookies that they have on here, rookie moments, they're going to add a rookie badge to them. And if it's a player's rookie moment, a rookie moment, that is also their first NBA Top Shot moment. They'll get a special, special badge. Hope that makes sense. Let's go back to where we were at, my collection. Let's open some packies. Maybe we'll open them both. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm going to open the common pack. Because there's also a gift pack challenge. I'll show you some of my moments. I got, I think I got 17 moments. But they're really good ones for the most part. Not... These two aren't amazing. John Wall, this is his first. It's out of 12,000. This is his first. So I just bought this before I started making this video. So this one uh, is going to get a badge. This one is also going to get a badge because any that you find that are 
Series 1 uh, gold, that's their first moment. This one also comes in a common, whereas instead of it being gold, it looks like this with the gray on the side and probably the yellow for the Pacers. But the gold means it's gold. So I bought this because I had Justin Holiday. You know, he he's, he do the, the intro for the card pack for you guys. And so I was like, I'm going to buy Justin Holiday. And I bought this just to flip it. And all these other ones I've had, except for I bought this one and this one. bought this for $549. Now it's like $2,000. bought this for like $579. Now it's like $1,400. And that's just this week. All these other ones I already had. My My most valuable one is this one. This one's almost 5000 Steph Curry's first NBA Top Shot moment, limited out of 1000 number 343. And the better serial count number you have, the more desirable it is. Number one being very coveted and jersey number of the player. So Steph Curry on this one, if I had number one or number 30, those would be the most valuable ones for sure. And then James Wiseman here, I bought this because it's his rookie moment. Um, it's going to get a rookie badge. Same thing. And this John ja Morant I have, this is going to get a rookie badge. It's not his first NBA moment, but it is a rookie moment of his from Series 1. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, also a rookie moment. Darius Garland is a rookie moment. And uh, where is where's Anthony Edwards? There he is. He'll get a rookie moment too, or a badge. Anyways, let's go to the packs, baby. There's also a gift challenge going on. So... I mean, I'll show you that real quick. Because literally, you got to get into Top Shot. You really do. It doesn't have to make sense to you right now. Just like, you know, when sports cards were new, those didn't make sense to people. They're like, really? I'm gonna, you're going to put this picture on a piece of paper and you want me to, like, buy it and collect it and stuff? That seems weird. But now it's just, you know, we just get it. Been, we've got it for years. Let's go to this one. So Top Shot was awesome. You know, there were a lot of growing pains. Still are because they just get so many users and so much activity that they're just figuring, trying to figure out how to handle um, the traffic and how to do everything. And and, and that's it's growing pains. They're still in beta. They they tell they're very open about that. We're still in beta, guys. We we don't have this perfected yet, right? We're we're trying to figure it out as more and more of you come in, and we're doing our best. Just just thank you for being with us. So they gave us this gift pack. People that had been around long enough, which is most people that were probably on it. And this, uh, if you get all five of the gifts, so in this pack, I'll get one gift. It'll be one of these five. It'll be Butler, Russell, McCollum, Mitchell, or Rui. I hope it's Butler or Mitchell. Probably Mitchell the most, but I love Jimmy Buckets. Um, and we'll get this one, this Derek Rose. Back to my collection. If we have all five of them in our account when the timer runs out. So 10 days, 11 hours, 46 minutes, and some seconds. Go to packs. I'm just going to open the common one. I don't know if I'm going to open the gift one yet because now I'm really interested in this because these, I'm glad I didn't open this because I probably would have just sold them right away. Now they're worth a lot more because now they're all limited edition. They're not uh, CC like I talked about where they're, you know, they're they're either locked in at 15000 or less. They're not going to go higher than that. So now the value has gone up. All right, so check this out. Let's go. Hopefully you can hear the music. Three moments in here. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Right here. Robin Lopez. Do not like it. Although, it's his first moment, so it'll get a badge. But Robin Lopez, shit. I swear to God, I've gotten probably five of these. Give me that LeBron. Give me that Trey. Clink Pella. Come on. But it's a, again, first moment. At least it's that. Get it. All right. Hopefully, this last one's really, really good. What do we got? Lakers. Bulls. Ah, come on. This pack sucked. Damn, this pack sucked. I really hope to get a really good one in there. I mean, I still made money. I paid nine bucks for it. I mean, these moments will sell for definitely more than that. Let's go to the marketplace and take a look. Who do we get? We got like Robin Lopez. Let's look up Robin Lopez. He's going for about 11 bucks. Ugh.
Otto going for even less. Who's the other guy I got? I don't even remember. It's so bad. Capella. Gosh. At least he's going for 23. Ugh. I was really hoping to get more out of that. Should we open this other pack? No. I think I'm going to save that pack for the Society. By the way, if you want to join the Sports Card Society, uh, links in the description, sportscardsociety.com. Uh, I'm going to be raising the price on it soon. You get an exclusive video from me almost every day outlining a, a sports card investment opportunity that I've done the research on and I feel real good about. And I show in the video as why. It's a short video. It's only about five minutes or so. Short video, but I just lay out the, the, the meat of it. Um, and then uh, you get the – I share my research with you, tell me, show you where I get the discount PSA grading, and then um, – you get access to the private Discord group. And then, of course, if you like the Market Movers tool, the link is also in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. And if you want to win the NFL Prison Pack giveaway, these are going for about 40 bucks now. If you want to get it and open it or get it and just hold it because it's going to go up in value, all you got to do is click the podcast link in the description and uh, leave a review. And then come back here on the video and leave a comment to let me know you did it. All right, and that's it. Stay classy, Card Pack. You are awesome.